So today's lesson will be on the chemical earth. And in today's lesson, we're going to look at ion formation. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we looked at why chemicals are unstable or they are stable. And in this lesson, we're going to look at one way that atoms can achieve stability by exchanging electrons with one another. Okay, so it's sort of like a free market of electrons. So ions, what are ions in the first place? Let's look at that and then we'll see how, they, how it works. So since atoms are searching for stability, that's what their goal is, electrons can be taken and given away. If I'm an atom, I could take an electron or I could give them away. And that's how I can achieve stability. So when this happens, ions are formed. So when an electron is given away or taken in, that's when you form an ion, okay? Because when you either give away or take an electron, the number of electrons then no longer equals the number of protons. And so ions can either be negatively or positively charged. Okay, so for instance, if I was to give away an electron, then I would have one less electron than protons. There would be more positive charges than negative charges. So I would be a positively charged ion. Now, if, I, if the opposite happened, I was to take in an electron, now I have one more electron than I do protons. Okay, so I have more pr electrons than protons, which means I will be negatively charged because there's more electrons. And so I'll be a negative ion. Okay, so you see how that works? Okay, so positive and negative ions. When we are talking about negative ions, the opposite happens. So when we have a positive ion, it gives away an electron. But when we have a negative ion, the electrons are gained by the atom. If you think about it, so before we gave away an electron and we had an excess of protons. But now we're taking in an electron and we're getting an excess of electrons. So there's more electrons than protons. You get a net negative charge. Okay? So that's, what, that's why we get negative charges. Okay? So predict the type of ion chlorine will create and determine the charge of that ion. What kind of charge, what type of ion will chlorine form and how big a charge would it have? Would it have plus two, plus three, negative three? negative 64, and that's our goal, okay? So here's our lovely periodic table once again. You can see that chlorine, if you look on your own periodic table at home, or you can look at this one, is in group seven. So it has seven electrons in its outermost shell. So what are its options? It could gain one electron to make eight in its outer shell, or it could give away seven. Now, if you think about it, it's easier to get one than lose seven. So it will, acquire one, it will try and acquire one more electron. Now, obviously, if it gets another electron, there's more electrons than protons, so it will be negatively charged. So it will be a negative ion. Now, since there's only one more electron than proton, the new ion will have a charge of negative one. So because we say each charge is one, or it's sort of one magnitude of charge, if you have one more electron, you have negative one charge of that ion. So predict the type of ion magnesium will create and determine the charge of that ion. So magnesium is over there in group two. So magnesium has two electrons in its outer shell. Its options are to gain six or give away two. Now it's easier to give away two than it is to gain six. So it will give away those two electrons. Now if it gives away electrons, there'll be more positive charges than negative charges. So it'll be a positive ion. And since there are two more protons than electrons, the charge will be two plus rather than two minus or, or one plus, okay? So it's two plus. 